Welcome to basic HTML course. If you want to set up your web page, then you must know about HTML. In this course, we will know about HTML from basic. After completing this course, you will be able to make the structure of your web page. So let's get start. Thank you and happy coding. Welcome everyone. So here we will start basic HTML course. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. HTML is the standard markup language for web page. With HTML, you can create your own website. HTML describes the structure of a web page. HTML consists of a series of elements. HTML elements tell the browser how to display the content. So, we need a browser to display HTML. Okay. Now, what is element in HTML? An HTML element is defined by a start tag and then some content and then an end tag. The tag name written in angle brackets which is this. Inside this we define a tag. So, a element written as a tag name here some content and here end tag. So end tag is always a slash and the tag name. Here the tag name which is used here the end tag will be same but here a slash appear. Okay. So what is tags? Tags are something that browser understand and then perform according to tags ok so we display the html in browser and browser understand tag now we will see some element in html so first element is doc type html so it defined that the document is an HTML document. The doc type is used to define the type of a document. Okay. Now the next element is HTML. It is the root element of an HTML document. Okay. Now next element head. This element content the information about the page next is title element it specify a title for the html page and it is shown in the browser title bar ok next element is body it define the document body and it is a container for all visible content such as heading, paragraph, image, hyperlink, table, list, etc. Okay. Next element is h1. It defines a large heading. And in HTML, there are six heading elements h1 to h6. The heading written inside a h2 tag is larger than h3, h4, h5, and h6 but smaller than h1 ok the next element is p it is used to define a paragraph and the next element is br it is used to line break in html ok these are some basic element of html in the next video we will see the structure of a basic html document Okay, thank you. Welcome. In this section, we will see structure of a HTML. So, first of all, we have to know about HTML editor. So, 
which editor we will use for write HTML code. So we just need a text editor to write HTML code. So for Mac user, edit text is the text editor and for Windows, Notepad or Notepad++ or etc. Whichever text editor you can use. So here we will use Notepad++. So let's see the basic structure of HTML code. This is the basic structure of a HTML code. So first of all, doc type HTML. HTML document start with a document type declaration, which is doc type HTML. Now the HTML itself begin with a HTML tag and end with HTML tag. So this is a HTML tag where the HTML document is start and here it is end. Now in between this the some content are available. So first is head. Inside head some information about the page is available. So like title or metadata these are the information which is written inside a head. So here title is written inside a head and the title of the page is page title. Okay. And after closing a head body tag start and inside body whichever content is available is the HTML content is shown in browser. Okay. So here one heading h1 is available and a paragraph is available. Okay. After writing this save this file. Save as dot html extension give a file name and give dot extension and click on save after save this file go to the folder where the file is saved i saved in desktop so here and for run this double click on this file or right click and open with and select a browser so I'll choose Chrome browser. So here the file is open. So here the page title is the title and this is the first heading and this is the first paragraph. Okay. So these are the basic structure of a HTML document. Okay. Thank you. Welcome. In this section. We will discuss HTML heading. So, HTML heading are defined with the H1 tag to H6 tag. That means H1 to H6. This 6 tag can be used for defining a heading in HTML. Okay. H1 is used to define the most important heading and H6 is used to define the less important heading. Okay. H1 heading should be used for main heading followed by h2 and then less important h3 and so on okay now when we run a html page search engine uses the heading to index the structure and content of your web page okay and each html heading has a default size so let's see an example so here we have an example we have take 6 heading h1 to h6 okay now let's see first save this file ctrl s is the shortcut key for save now go to the file and double click on it so here you can see heading 1 that is defined with h1 tag is the most important heading here and then h2 and then h3 and so on okay when we need different type of heading then we can use different type okay now in the next video we will see paragraph in html thank you welcome in this section we will talk about paragraph in html so a paragraph is usually a block of text and always start on a new line when 
to execute the code browser automatically add some white space before and after a paragraph okay in html p tag is used to define a paragraph okay so let's see an example so here we will take two paragraphs this is one and this is the second paragraph okay in this paragraph we will take lot of line okay and here we will take lot of space so let's run this and see what happened I'll set this file and so here you can see in the first paragraph there are a lot of lines but when we run this here only a single line appear okay and in the second paragraph there are a lot of space but here only a single space appear if we need multiple space then we have to use escape character we'll see escape character in some other video if we see multiple line then we have to use line break so for this we have a br tag this is used for line break okay so now we'll see two tag br and hr this two are empty tag means it has no end element okay now br tag is used to define a line break you can use br tag if you want a new line without starting a new paragraph so here we'll when we start new paragraph a new line appeared here okay second paragraph appear in new line but if we want new line here only a single paragraph then we have to use a br tag so here we'll use a br tag so this content will be appear in a new line so add br here 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 okay let's run this so here i will refresh just so here you can see multiple line appear here okay so br element is used to line break now we will see hr element now hr tag define a thematic break in an html page and it is displayed as a horizontal rule it is mainly used to separate content or define a change in html so let's see what it is so here i'll use a hr tag okay let's see what happened set this file so when you use hr tag a thematic break and a horizontal rule appear here break the line and a horizontal rule appear okay now you can understand hr and br tag okay in the next video we will talk about how to use multiple space okay thank you welcome now we will see how to use multiple space in a single line okay so when we run this code only a single space appear in output so for use multiple space we have to use the escape character for each space the escape character is n percent nbsp okay so now let's save this and run this file i will click on it so here two spaces appear you can understood now we will use some more space okay now let's see what happened so here a lot of space is appeared okay now we will see a problem suppose here we write the poem okay now let's run this 
so here in output the poem appear in single line but poem should be appeared in line by line as it is in here okay so for this we can use br tag in every line so if we have a thousand line of poem then we can't add br tag so for this we have a solution so for this we have to use p tag p tag is the pre formatted text it is preserved the formatted text as it is written so when we run this this poem will be appear line by line so let's see so here a poem appear line by line okay so in this way we can use multiple line in a single paragraph okay and the pre tag preserve both space and line break where if we use multiple space then it also appear in output so here you can see okay thank you welcome in this section we will see comments in html so what is comments comments are some portion in a code which is not executed it is mainly used for understanding the code okay so in html a comment is written in exclamatory sign and double dash now here write the content of your comment and then again double dash okay now this is a comment and the content of the comment is hello okay now let's write this here now let's run this so here you can see comment is not appear in output okay thank you welcome in this section we will talk about html attribute so html attribute provide additional information about an html element okay and html attribute always specified in start tag that means every start tag can have a attribute or not okay now html attribute always come in name value pair means always the attribute name will be provide and the value of the attribute will be given okay now we will see some attribute so first attribute we will see is style style attribute always used to style an element so let's style this element for this first give the name which is style and give value style could be color style could be font size etc so here we will using color so i'll give color is red okay now save this file and run this so here you can see heading 1 is red okay now let's see some other attribute now we will see lang l a n g it is used to declare the language of a web page okay you should always include the lang attribute inside html tag the lang attribute always here so lang equals to here give the language code for english the code is en okay now you can use country code also in lang attribute so for this here give a language and country so first two character is for language code and then a dash and then give the country code us so in this way we can define lang attribute okay now we will see title attribute so the title attribute defines some extra information about an element and the value of the attribute will be displayed as a tooltip for a new mouse style so here we give a attribute title here i'll give 
this user this is a paragraph okay now save this file and run this so where did mouse the element so this is a paragraph when you mouse you can see the title is appeared here here as a tool okay now you can use the attribute value within code or without code when you use without code then it may occur some problem sometime okay let's see what type of problem so suppose i'll type about me okay now when you run this let's see what happened so here when we mouse the element only about is comes so here when we give a space then it is not treated as a value so for this we have to use quotation okay now run this so here you can see about me is appear now we can use single quote or double quote for attribute value sometimes attribute value has double quote then we will use single quote so that means this hello run so suppose this is the attribute value here double quote is appeared so we have to write this total text within a single quote okay now let's run this so here you can see hello ram is appeared so these are the concept of attribute we will see some more attribute in some other video okay thank you welcome now we will see html id attribute and html class attribute so id attribute is used to specify a unique id for an html element and class attribute is used to specify a class okay and you cannot have more than one element with the same id in an html document but you can have multiple element with same class okay now this attribute id and class are used to point to a specific declaration in a style sheet and it is also used by javascript to access and manipulate elements okay so create id take the elements suppose i will take h1 and here give id is equals to here give a id name okay i'll give abc and here close this tag and here you can write anything i like hello okay and how to define class so take that h1 give the attribute name and give its value suppose i'll give xyz here i'll give hello and close this tag okay save this now run this file so here cannot find id name and class name when we design by using css then this id and class name is used or when we use javascript to add accent then this attribute are used okay thank you welcome now we will see how to use the link in html so for this we have a angle tag which is a so in between a a attribute called href is used to define a link so here type your link so i'll give youtube.com okay now close this tag here i'll type youtube okay now save this file and run this so there you will get now click on it so youtube is opened okay so in this way we can define a link in html okay now we will see how to use image in html so for this first go to the image file and from here copy the directory of image okay now here we have a tag img in img we have a attribute called src src attribute used for image source so here give the image source the directory of image and then name of the image 
okay close this tag so let's see save this file run this so here you can see the image is appeared okay now you can use another attribute width and height so i'll give width is equals to 600 and height is equals to 800 now let's see what happened where you can see the size is increased okay so in this way we can use image and link in html in the next video we will see how to use audio or video okay thank you welcome everyone in this section we will see audio in html but first we will see one another attribute related to image and the attribute name is alt and this attribute used to alternative text suppose browser can't find the image then browser will show this alternative text okay so let's see we set alternative text image not found save this and run this so browser found the image so alternative text is not appear now suppose i will change the name a to b ok now let's see what happened now run this so here you can see image not found the text is appeared here ok now we will see audio for this to play audio in html we have a tag called audio ok and you must give a attribute called control otherwise audio will not be played controls ok and now close the tag slash audio close this and in between this you have to provide the source of your audio file for this we have a tag called source and here the attribute src and here provide the directory and file name so go to the audio file and copy the directory and paste it here and keep the audio file name ok and after this close this so we can close this tag by using font slash ok now run this file so here you can see the audio has appeared now play this so you can see the audio is played perfectly ok welcome now we will see how to play video using html ok for this we have a tag video and here the attribute con controls should be given here otherwise video will not be played ok and we will take two more attribute width and height ok and in between video tag you have to write source and here in src attribute give the path or directory where your video file will be available ok now save this file and run this so here the video file is available and welcome to this channel आज के इस वीडियो में को कैसे डाउनलोड और इंस्टॉल करना है तो हियर द वीडियो इज प्लेइंग ओके सो इन दिस वे यू कैन प्ले वीडियो इन ब्राउजर यूजिंग एचटीएमएल ओके नाउ वी विल सी सुपर एलिमेंट एंड सब एलिमेंट इन एचटीएमएल सो हियर 15th अगस्त हियर द टी इज 
is the super element and here h2o f2 is the sub element so how to write using html for this let's take a paragraph and now write 15th august so for this 15 and now the super element comes so for this we have a tag sup and close this tag and under this tag write the super element after that okay now let's save this and run this file here you can see 15th august is appeared here okay now let's see how to use sub element for this take another paragraph and here h after that for sub element use tag sub so here give to inside this okay now let's see run this file here h2o so 2 is sub element and th is super element so in this way we can use super element and sub element in html okay thank you welcome now suppose here i'll write just name okay and save this file now run this let's see what happened so you can see the name is appeared here okay so if we don't use a heading or a paragraph and write only the text then it will also works in html okay now we will see how to make a text bold or italic so to make a text bold we have a tag called b so under b tag write your text whatever you want to make bold so here i will write text okay and here i will type name only for comparison if you want to make your text italic then use i tag here write your text and close tag okay now let's see what happened so here you can see the first name is normal text and then second which is under b tag is bold and third which is under i tag is italic okay so in this way we can make a text bold or italic or regular okay thank you welcome in this section we will see list in html so an html list are used to group a set of related items okay now there are three lists in html order list another list and description list okay now let's see order list so an order list start with ol tag okay and each list item start with li tag okay and the list item will be marked by numbers so let's see an order list so give a ol tag to define a list and close this tag now in between ol tag we have to define item of the list so each item define with li tag so li and here write the first item i write c close i'll give the second item So here I will take list of three items. Now save this file and run this. So here you can see each item has a specific number. So each item marked by numbers in order list. Okay. Now we will see another list. So another list start with UL tag. And each item in another list is start with li tag. 
and the list item will be marked by bullets so let's see another list so here i'll give ul and save this file now run this so you can see each item marked by bullets now we'll see description list each item in description list has some description okay now description list start with dl tag and each term start with dt tag and description start with dd tag okay now let's see an example so here first i will define a description list okay now i'll give the first term so dt here i'll give java slash dt now i'll give the description so dd i'll write this is a programming language okay now let's take another element so dt i'll take html now give the description this is a markup language okay now save this file and run this so here you can see each item has some description okay here the item java has a description this is a programming language and the item html has a description this is a markup language okay so these are three lists in the next video we will see table in html okay thank you welcome in this section we will see table in html so table are used to arrange data into row and columns okay and the table tag is used to define a table okay and for each row use tr tag and for table header use th tag so this is for table this is for row this is for table header table header means the name of the column okay and for data use td tag table data means the columns value okay by default th element is bold and centered and td element is regular and left aligned okay now let's see an example so here first i'll take table tag and close this table now in between this first create a row tier the first row should be the table header so here I'll give the first header is product. This is the first column, and the next is unit price. And the next column is quantity. Okay, so this is the first row. Now create another row. So tr and class tr. Now 
here define the value so td the first value is product name so the product name will i'll give iphone yes td now next is unit price so td i'll give unit price 2 lakhs now next is quantity so i'll give 5 okay now add another value so another row tr so first value is td product i'll give samsung plus td next is price i'll give 20000 next is quantity i'll give 10 okay so here first i'll add table header that means the columns name we have a three columns product unit price and quantity and the data is first value is iphone and its price is 2 lakhs and have type quantity now next value is samsung and its price is 20000 and its quantity is 10 okay now save this file and run this so here you can see the table is appeared here okay now if you want to design the table then we have to apply css but here we will only learn html so it will learn in css session okay so in this way you can create table okay thank you in this section we will see form in html in html form is used to collect user input now to design a form we have a tag called form okay so in between form we have to include element for design the form so mainly three element are used which are label input and button these elements are used to design a form okay first see the structure so here we have a form so first name which is written here this is known as label and here a box which is used to taking input and here you can see male female or other here are three options and we have to select one so this is another type of input and here some check box are available this is another type of input okay and now here the submit button and a refresh button is here so label input and button are used to design a form okay now for label use label tag now for input use input tag okay so input tag is used to taking input from a user and here a attribute called type and this is used to define the input type see some input type now if we use type is equals to text then this is a single line text input okay that means this this is a single line text input now if we use type is equals to radio this is a radio button which is multiple option and we have to select only one option here this is radio option now if we use check this is used to check box here there are so many option and we can choose multiple option so here these are the check box okay now here if you use submit then that is used to define submit button so for submit button we have a type for submit and for any other button we have to use type is equals to button okay so these are some element to design the form okay in the next video we will see example one by one okay thank you welcome
Now let's see an example of form. So use form that and here first let's see the label. Use label tag and here I'll write okay. Now let's take a text box to take the input. For this use input tag and here give type is equals to text okay now let's see what happened run this file here you can see the first name which is shown here and here the input box is here so here give some input so it's take input okay suppose we want to take another input last name so for this take a label write last name okay now input type is equals to text okay save this file now let's see so here you can see both are in same line if you want this portion in second line then we have to use a br tag here okay now let's see refresh this so here you can see this is in single line but it looks awkward so i'll take another br tag now let's see now it's fine okay thank you welcome in the last section we saw that how to take text input from user now we'll see radio button so radio button is like this so there are some option and you have to select only one accent for this and here give type is equals to radio okay now make another radio button okay now let's see first what happened now you can see only two button is appeared here but no text is shown here here we have a male female and other for this here write your text i'll give male here i'll give female make another button give. and give id for each i'll give male so by using this id we can fetch the value given by user okay now run this now here you can see male female and other is appear click on it so here you can see we can select all the options but in radio button if you have a one section then in that section you only select only one button for this make a group by using attribute name and give a same name for the button which you want to add in a single section okay so here i'll give gender and copy this and paste it here and here okay now make it in new line and make a label now let's see now you can see only one button is selected at a time okay name activity is used to make a group now you can make another group by using another name okay in the next section we will see checkbox thank you welcome now we will see checkbox in checkbox among given option you can select one or more that means in radio button you only select only one option but in checkbox you can select multiple option now for checkbox take input tag and give type is equals to checkbox okay and here give the name post i write make another make another now make a group for this use name game copy this and keep id for everyone i'll give id is equals to id is equals to here now run this file okay here you can see the checkbox is available now select one you can see here you can select multiple option but the radio button you can select only one option okay so this is the difference between radio button and checkbox now suppose you want that when you run this file a box is always checked for this suppose i'll check this box so here the property called check is what you checked okay now when you refresh this 
this box is checked now i can uncheck it now refresh it you can see this box is checked okay so in this way you can use check box thank you welcome now we will see how to take number input so for this use input tag and give type is equals to number okay save this file now run this i refresh this so here the box has appeared here you can take number input you can increase and decrease by this two button okay otherwise you can type number so i type okay now suppose i want to fix the maximum and minimum for this for minimum use min attribute i'll set min is equals to 0 and max is equals to 20 okay now let's see refresh here so here you can see after 20 if i click it's not working now let's see minimum so after 0 if i decrease it is not decreasing okay so in this way you can take number in okay now we'll see how to take date input suppose you have to take date of birth then you have to take date input for this take input tag and give type is equals to date okay save this file now let's see so here you can see date month and year is available by using click here you can select date otherwise you can type here okay thank you welcome in this section we will see drop down list so drop down list is a list where there are some element and you have to select one so this is a drop down list there are some element and you have to select one or more okay so now let's see how to create select tag is used to create a drop down list okay and option tag is used to create different options okay now so here we'll take a select tag and we'll give id here we'll create first option and a attribute called value used to define the option value okay here i'll give the value below metric and here write the text you want to show in browser okay now here we'll make some options save this and now if we run this we'll get this from here you can select any options but you can see here you can't select multiple option so now let's see how to select multiple option for this the attribute used here name multiple so here use multiple attribute so select multiple option now save this and run this okay now here we can select multiple option okay now we will see how to use multi line text area so multi line text area is a text box where you can write description or multiple line of text okay so for this use tag text area give a id i'll give ta text area and close this tag okay save this file now let's see so here you can use multi line text here you can see i am using multi line text okay so in this way you can create a multi line text input now we'll see field box and legend element so what is this so this is like this so this box is known as field box and here the details this is legend element okay now let's create a simple field box and legend element to make the field box use tag field set okay here give id close this now in between this make the legend element and some element so first make the legend element by using legend tag legend here here i'll give details now make a simple text so i'll give name and take a input now let's see so here you can see a field box is created and the legend element is created now here we'll use a label and an input box okay thank you welcome now we'll see button so make a button use tag button and give a idea and here write your text which will be shown in button okay so i'll give okay close this now run this file so here button is available okay now if you want to make submit button then we can make this in this way or we can make it by using input tag for this we will input if type submit now run this now submit button is also available okay now when we click this no task performed because we don't add any action to button so 
by using JavaScript or jQuery or PHP, we can add action to button. Okay. Thank you.